Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting lesson. Today we are going to be taking a look at the straight line method of depreciation. So before we jump right in, let's take a look at our information. We have a piece of equipment that was purchased at the beginning of the first year for 450000 This equipment has a residual value of 50000 and is expected to have a useful life of five years. So before we jump right in, let's talk about the basics. Now, as you know, whenever we purchase these fixed assets, we always value them at cost. So here we paid 450000 for the equipment. So that is the amount that we are going to record the equipment at. Another very important term is residual value. Now the residual value refers to the amount that we believe we can sell this equipment for at the end of its useful life. And then let's move on to the useful life of five years. We expect this equipment to be used for five years. So after five years, we expect that we can sell this equipment for $50,000. So now let's jump into straight line in particular. Now for straight line method, the great thing about it is the first time you calculate it, it's going to be the same for each year's depreciation expense. So here's the formula, definitely commit this to memory. Cost minus residual value divided by estimated useful life in years. So here we have our cost, we have our residual value, and we also have our estimated useful life. So let's try plugging in that calculation just to see what we come up with. So we have, $450,000 minus your residual value of 50,000 and we have estimated useful life of five years. So when we plug that information in, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit, we get a total annual depreciation expense of 80,000. So let's go ahead and plug this into this little chart we have off to the side. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, and fifth year. So using the straight line method, this 80,000, we could actually go ahead and skip ahead and put 80,000 into every single depreciation box. However, let's do it as we go along. So now that we have 80,000 in depreciation expense, the first year, let's go ahead and figure out accumulated depreciation. Now keep in mind, accumulated depreciation is exactly as it sounds. It's all the depreciation you have accumulated. So after year one, how much depreciation have we accumulated? Well, just 80,000. And then last but not least is book value. Now I highly recommend that you memorize the formula for book value because it's extremely important, not only for this method and the types of problems you are going to get for straight line, but also for other uh, depreciation methods. So book value is always going to be equal to the cost of the fixed asset, so 450000 minus the accumulated depreciation, so in our case, 80,000. So in this case, after year one, our book value is 370,000. So let's move on to year two. We don't have to do any other calculations. We already figured that out. Year two, we have the same amount, 80,000 depreciation expense. Now our accumulated depreciation is 80,000 from last year plus the 80,000 from this year. So now we have 160,000 that's accumulated. And our book value, like always, is cost minus accumulated depreciation, 290,000. So every year this is going to be going down a little bit more and a little bit more. Year three again, 80,000. Accumulated depreciation, last year had 160,000. We accumulated even more. So now we have 240,000. And our book value, 450,000 minus the 240,000. So it's just going down further and further as we go. Year four, nothing changed. We still have 80,000. Accumulated depreciation, 240,000 plus the 80,000. And book value, 450,000 minus 320,000. Okay, one more year. 80,000 depreciation expense. We accumulated a little bit more this year. And our book value. 450,000 minus 400,000. Now this is an important one to check once you're done with these types of charts. 
because one important rule of depreciation is that we cannot depreciate past residual value. So if your book value is below your residual value, you need to go back and fix something. For straight line, that'll mean that you probably made an error somewhere. However, in some other methods, it just means that we depreciated too much. So if you see that there is a change here, go back and fix your error. When we get to double declining depreciation, we'll talk about how we could go ahead and change that last year so that our book value does not decrease below residual value. So that's really all it is for straight line. Um, pay close attention to your chart. Pay clo close attention to what they're asking you. If they're asking what the depreciation year is for year three, they're referring to depreciation expense. So that answer would just be 80000 If they're asking what the accumulated depreciation would be after year four, then they're looking for the accumulated depreciation balance after your four, 320,000. So always pay attention to what the question is asking. Being able to complete the chart will only get you halfway. You also have to apply it to the question that your instructor poses to you. So keep practicing, look for opportunities to apply this knowledge in your exercises and examples. And we'll go ahead and do units of production next. And in the meantime, happy studying.